notes and welcome to my messy desk where this tutorial will take place quite a few of you have asked me to do more of these small little one subject tutorials and I'm listening today we'll color this mushroom right here and I will be starting with a Karen Darge Museum Aquarel watercolor pencil and the reason is that is just to like get a nice layer of solid color to work on top of and I like that it creates a bit more texture for the mushrooms to apply the pencil I will be using a water brush this one is number three here for my little set should be right here these are the cheapest six set on um, eBay and I really really recommend these you can get them quite cheaply and they last so long and for me they work better than these Kuitaki ones so just a little recommendation let's begin this is the number of the pencil and I have one of those with the name printed Rose Violin or Violet Pink, I think it's French and English. So here I have my water brush. Just going to take some of the color and apply it. Now this is quite red. So I'm just going to blot it off and get some more of that lovely dusty violet rosy color I'm going to try to keep the biggest concentration of color towards the bottom of the mushroom as it is here I will concentrate my pencils once this is dry so getting it as flat as possible that is my preference there we go I'm going to drag some of the color down just like that now I will let it dry before we go any further with the tutorial I quickly want to tell you who inspired me to do this wonderful yeah. background and it is of course Peter Hewitt she is one of my biggest coloring inspirations, so go check her out. And if you want to know how I did the background, I have a similar tutorial. I think I called it a waterfall pencil background. You can find it in my tutorial playlist. Okay, my mushroom is dry and I just went in with the same color for the other small mushrooms. Now I'm taking my magenta color. And I'm using my Fabric Castell Polychromas. I'm going to go in quite lightly and make a tiny border. I don't want it to go directly to the line because we want a bit of the lighter color sticking out. Now I'm just with small circles, fading our color around. I will be doing my best to avoid all the little dots, but it doesn't really matter because we will be taking care of those too. And not just with glitter for once. <laughs> This way to color mushrooms is really a lot, a lot of layering with a lot of different colors to make our mushrooms look really interesting. Next up I have my red violet. This is also a polychromas. 
and I'm going to softly layer it on top of the magenta. Making it the darkest around the edge we just created. Just lots of soft little circles. Our mushroom is starting to take shape, so now I'm taking medium flesh. Again, it's a polychromous. Again, I'm just starting at the darkest and slowly fading my way in. Next up is light flesh, and you guessed correctly, it is another polychromous color. I'm not going to start at the very darkest. I'm more going to use this to fade out the medium flesh from before. Time to darken it all up and cool it down a bit with some dark indigo. Again, polychromous. Just very lightly and only at the absolute darkest parts. Don't want to go over here. Just at the edges. And I'm not pressing hard at all. This is a very soft, barely touching pressure. Just to get some nice color variation. Especially on a page like this where the mushrooms are really in focus. I like to make them quite interesting to look at. As you can see we are just slowly, slowly cooling it down and darkening up. The dark indigo is just perfect for that. And at last for the big part of the mushroom, I'll use Caput Mortem Violet. Another polychromous color. This is dark and muting too. It mutes the colors a bit. And I'll add it along the bottom line. And fading up slightly. There we go. I will be taking the same pencil, the Caput Mortum Violet, and create a quite harsh shadow around the dots. This will really make them pop out of the mushroom so they don't look level. Don't want that. We want it to look like little warts on the mushroom that is popping out. Want it three-dimensional. Just like a little C shape. Yeah the light areas I like to fade it out a bit more and make it a bit harsher in the dark areas. Of course you ha can arrange your shading however you like to. 
depending on where the light is from on your page. For me, I like to imagine the sun is coming from this corner. I'm satisfied. Now I'm taking my red violet again. And I'm going in softly, softly, softly. Just create a bit of shading. Kind of like shading in a little C shape too. Very important to remember to always fade out your pencil unless you want a hard edge. See if I'm not to make the shading on these two. I'll just correct that. Again with the Caput Mortem color. There we go. Next up is medium flesh again. And softly, softly. You want quite a bit more light on these little ward dots things than we did on the mushroom itself and that's just to make them pop out there we go now i'm actually taking my white and it is the polychromos because it is quite translucent and just with a medium pressure going over the highlights. If you use the Prismacolor white for example, it would just knock out all your colors. Now with the Polychromos white, it's more translucent, it just kind of smooths it out as you see. And there you go, a nice lovely pink mushroom. If you want a bit more Kapow effect, you can go in with a Uniball Signo in white or whatever white gel pen you like. And I like to make little sparkles where I imagine the light might hit those little wart things. Just like that. Okay, I hope this tutorial was helpful. If not, please leave a comment about what I could do better to next time. I always aim to do the best for you, you guys as I can. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.